bullies. These are high school fucking bullies. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Unhinged Curtis Price channel. And just as we thought the storm had passed, Gabby Hanna releases yet another video and Jesse smiles. And honestly, if all of this continues, I'm gonna be a very rich dude. But honestly, I can almost guarantee this is my last video on this situation, unless anything huge happens, of course. But before we do get into today's video, let's do a quick little recap of my last couple of videos, just so you're caught up, because I care about you. <gasps> So as we are aware, ladies and gentlemen, Gabby Han has been trending an awful lot of the last couple of months due to the flying shitstorm she has created. She started her YouTube series where she was targeting multiple YouTubers, people like Jesse Smiles, Trisha Paytas, Joey Graceffa, etc. And of course, how can we forget about the breakdowns she's been having? <laughs> Is it over? Okay, good. I always tend to avoid the scary parts of movies. Now she's been releasing a decent handful of these so-called breakdowns and people are actually concerned for her, worried about her mental health. And honestly, I wish people cared like that about me, but I've never had a breakdown. Oh, don't worry. I love you. Thanks, Chris. But as I was saying, people were worried, but um, she was faking it. Oh boy, she was faking everything she was putting on TikTok and it was all fake. And I see Gabby has learned a few things from Anision. Well, Let's just hope that's the only and last thing she learns from him. Because a combination of Gabby Hanna and Anision, that would be an abomination. But while she has been having these breakdowns, I made her feel better by giving her money to access her OnlyFans. I made fun of her and I gave her money. And that is exactly why people call me a nice guy. And some of the comments that people were saying on her pictures as well, they were not born in ovaries. They were born in some sort of weird, frustrated, horny sex temple where you have to wear PVC plastic 24 hours a day. AKA, my uncle's house. And now you might be asking, well, what's new? Well, Gabby Ann is now trying to sell people's trauma. Someone also apparently broke into her house. And also, she sat on the kitchen floor and sang for seven minutes straight. Also known as seven minutes of trauma. For me. Self-loathing and pity for the last seven minutes. I wanted to kill myself. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the first segment of today's video. So, ladies and gentlemen, with all of the drama that's been surrounding Gabby Hanna recently, it's safe to say she has made a handful of enemies. Which isn't really surprising. What else would you expect when you try to cancel everything on the internet that moves? Oh, bollocks. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. However, ladies and gentlemen, things did indeed take a sudden turn. Something that none of us were expecting. While Gabby Hanna was live on her Patreon, she was suspicious that someone actually tried to break into her house. And beforehand, she was receiving a lot of suspicious phone calls, etc. But you know what? If it was a six foot six meathead with biceps the size of my fucking leg, I'd probably help him carry my TV to his van. However, being burgled isn't exactly something I'm open for. I always want to keep my location unknown, which is why I have to thank the sponsor of today's video. Atlas VPN. So you want to surf the web without your location being visible? Perhaps you want to watch Netflix UK, vice versa? Well, I have the perfect service for that. And that, my friends, is Atlas VPN. Mm. Atlas VPN is a tool that you can use that encrypts all of your data, meanwhile keeping your location extremely hidden. Oh, I don't get it. How does that work? Well, when you connect to a VPN server, your device is automatically given a new IP and... DNS address. Almost forgot the word then. All the incoming traffic will then be rerouted to the VPN server which keeps you safe and hidden online. Sound fantastic so far? Great. Well, there's more coming. Wait until you hear about these features. They also have a feature called Data Breach Monitor and this is essentially works by inserting your email address and then the tool will scan your email address to see if there's been any data breaches or security breaches over the internet. This includes emails, passwords, names, etc. Atlas VPN is also supported on any devices and they even have a 30 day money back guarantee on any subscription purchases. So I'm actually here right now with my very good friend, Officer Dong. Officer Dong, what do you think about Atlas VPN? This shit is fantastic. Ain't no one gonna be tracking me down on the internet, asshole. Okay. Uh, let's just uh, just move on. Glad you like it though. Now let me tell you what I've been using Atlas VPN for. What I've been scouring the internet for. What I found. 
Now, me personally, I've been looking at it from a streaming angle. For example, in the US right now, Rigor Morty is not available on Netflix. So all you gotta do is download Atlas VPN, open the application, and simply connect to the country where the service is available, and voila! Reload the page or app, log back into Netflix, and bang! You're in Netflix UK, Rick and Morty, seven day binge watch. Yeah! So if you download it now using my special link in the description, you will indeed get an extremely juicy discount. And that exclusive deal is, is 86% off, leaving the price every month at $1.39. But be quick because it will end soon. But you also downloading this tool, it helps me as well, and it helps me do more business with this company in the future. And I gotta be honest, Atlas VPN is a fantastic thing that's been given to us from God. So download it. One last thank you to Atlas VPN and let's get straight back in to the video. Now ladies and gentlemen as I was saying things really did take a wrong turn for Gabby and when I say wrong turn I mean Gabby claimed she felt like her life was in danger filled with worry and fear for her safety as she live streamed to the entirety of her Patreon. So without further ado let's take a look at this clip and see what was actually going on. Uh Oh shit, oh, it's just my shadow. God damn it. But as you just watched, Gabby was under the impression that someone was breaking into her house, so she contacted the police. But despite all the drama that Gabby has been in, no one deserves to have their house broken into. Okay, I'd never wish that upon anyone, I'm not a monster. Although my cock says otherwise. But Gabby did indeed contact the police in fear. But the things that happened beforehand was definitely concerning. Viewers are at 666 right now, as I'm talking about it. Like that's... And somebody's dude... Very strange indeed, ladies and gentlemen. And obviously you can imagine how Gabby is feeling in this situation. But I actually do feel sorry for her, even though I slate her almost every video. I do feel bad and I do feel sorry and I don't think she deserves to feel that way in her own home where you should feel safe. Uh, can I have the Mr. Nice Guy award now, please? However, the aftermath of this situation, Gabby did indeed tweet on Twitter. Obviously, she wouldn't be tweeting at birds, would she? And this is actually the tweet that she released. Hi everyone, I'm sorry if I scared or worried anyone hopping off the live stream like that. Um, it's meant to be off. So you should know. I didn't want to say my address on stream, and sorry for not updating sooner. I was dealing with things. They did check of they did a check of the house and it's clear. I'm not sleeping yet. Thank you for your concern. I'm alright. Well it's good to see that Gabby's doing alright. That's excellent news. But if you want to see me doing well as well, then I suggest you subscribe to the channel. Uh, because um, this little pup is really asking you to. And you know for... That was a nod. Did you see that? She, she just nodded it. Subscribe. Like the video. Comment for the algorithm. Do it now. <laughs> and believe it or not, some people who actually dislike Gabby ended up tweeting things like this. Andrea, she's got Mr. Ducky, man. I'm not that much of a fan of Gabby, but nobody should ever have to feel afraid in their own house, thinking that someone is going to show up. If you like to go and harass influencers at their house, you clearly don't have a life. I really hope she is at least in a safe place. Well, it's good to see that not everyone's a horrible on the internet. Wow, people on the internet actually have feelings. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, you just know that there are definitely people in this world right now that are happy to hear that Gabby's house was almost broken into. And those people are sick. And those are also the people who are doing extremely bad in life right now, so they take the piss of other people to make themselves feel better. Oh. No, I... I, I I, I'm doing good in life. I, I feel good. I'm happy. I don't like to make fun of other people because I'm insecure. But now that we've spoken about all this, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to actually talk about Gabby Hanna trying to sell someone's traumatic story uh, to someone. Uh, Bob? Ross? I don't know. So ladies and gentlemen, with that said, I'd like to introduce Mr. Sparkles from the legendary Logicon. Hello everyone and welcome to Logicon, where we put logic and con artists together. In this game show, I get to ask all the questions and all you lovely people at home get to answer. And in this segment, ladies and gentlemen, we will be talking about Tana Mojo slash Mongo, however you say her name, and Gabby Hanna. And if you win in return, you will get a fantastic, lovely gift from Mr. Sparkles, known as nothing. And I know you may all have some questions like, you know, uh, uh, but you just, you just spoke about it and you were very sympathetic. Well, what else has she done wrong? This is a part of the game show, my friends. 
This is where all the answers live. With every victory comes defeat. And who will turn out on top today? Now, as we all know, ladies and gentlemen, Gabby Hanna was a part of a show known as Escape the Night. And we know this not because we watched it, but because Gabby Hanna uploaded a video lying about her experience. And in the rest of the cast, there was many other creators, such as the likes of Tana Mongu, who we will indeed be talking about today. And now recently, Tana went on Trisha Pater's podcast, Cancelled, and she said the following. A. Gabby Hanna told the internet about her traumatic story. B. Gabby tried to sell Tana Mojo's story to the news outlet. Or C. Tana called Gabby Lock your answers in the comment section now. Well, if you answered C, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations! You were wrong. The answer was actually B. Well done, if you, if you got it right, you get fist pump. I don't know if I was 17 or 18. I was like on the brink, but I was at a playlist live and they were like trying to f with me. And I like, I just, it's something I never even like thought of again. You know what I mean? It was just, yeah. and obviously it was like an older guy and whatever, but I mean, we're friends now. And like, I, obviously I'm not saying I should, it's right. It's not yeah. right. It's no. a couple of weeks ago. I got a call from <laughs> that. Should I say it? I was doing an article. That Gabby Hanna was trying to sell to them that this YouTuber like f with me when I was like underage and then it was up and I was like, what if this was my trauma? So as we just saw, ladies and gentlemen, Gabby Hanna did indeed try to sell Tana's story to an unknown source. And obviously this source is unknown. My assumption is, is that Gabby Hanna probably tried to sell it to some sort of news outlet or a tea channel. You know, perhaps she even tried to sell it to your mother. And believe it or not, my friends, I actually have one simple, easy question for Gabby Hanna. Uh, where in all of this are you involved? The right answer is... Nowhere. Kapoof. Nowhere. You weren't involved. So, why were you? And also, ladies and gentlemen, due to Tana Mojo liking a tweet in defense of Joey Graceffa after Gabby posted her video dragging Joey on his show, that may be the reason why Gabby's trying to sell her trauma story. Um, what a sick way to get back at someone. You know what? Because Tana liked a tweet on social media, I'm gonna tell everybody about the trauma you had when you were 17. Let me attach myself to some sort of private story. But in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Gabby Hanna almost got robbed, um, but no one was there because the house was clear, and Gabby tried to sell someone's trauma story. Uh, Jesus Christ. Is she good? Is she bad? I don't know. Do I feel sorry for her? Do I, do I dislike her? I, I'll, I'll never know the answer. What I do know is, is that Gabby's made a lot of mistakes. Will she redeem herself in the future? Perhaps. Trisha Paytas kind of did. And the final question I have for you is, did you like the video? Did you comment? And also, did you subscribe? Because that's a must to watch my videos. Only takes one second of your day. You're that tight to something. I'm asking guys, I love you. <laughs> Your man, bro, uh, yeah, I said, tell me what you mad for, uh, your man, bro, uh.